school time, so today we're going to attempt to build a candy dispenser for your locker. Let's do this! Woo! Okay guys, for this challenge we can only use the items on this table. So we got some plastic here that we can like wrap into a tube. We also have cardboard, uh, of course some candy. We got a whole bunch of dowels duct tape, cutting utensils, we got a whole bunch of magnets here, we got a glue gun, and some toilet paper rolls. We're gonna take our supplies with us and go brainstorm ideas at the locker. All right guys, here's the locker. I've decided to put my uh, candy dispenser on the door. So here's my plan. I'm going to use the Nerds and the Skittles up at the top, and then I'm going to make tubes out of the plastic wrap that go out of each one, and then they're going to crisscross paths, and then end up in my hand. That leaves me to do the inside of the locker. I'm gonna be using Mike and Ike's, Gobstopper Chewies, and Everlasting Gobstoppers for the really boring classes. <laughs> using the dowels, the duct tape, and the paper towel roll, I'm going to be making a track back and forth on the inside of the locker. The Mike and Ike's are gonna be super simple. There's just gonna be a little ramp that comes out and pours it into your hand. The tricky part is gonna be is I have to get the gobstoppers from their box on that ramp so they can go into your hand on the same thing. It's building time! Yes! Woo! I'm going to start off by making my see-through tubing. So I'm just going to put some glue at the top and then we're going to roll it. Yeah. All right. There we go. We got our tube. Time to put the dispenser on the candy boxes so that it will dispense the candy. The candy. The candy. We already did a video on this like two years ago, so we were like really little, you know? Yeah. It's two years ago. Was so, so long ago. So basically what we're going for is the trap door kind of theme. When you pull this tab out, Whoa! Pieces of candy fall out. Mmm. Mmm. So long. My voice was like this! I, I don't even want to display how my voice was like. Just, you're just gonna have to go watch the Just Yeah, just go watch the video. We'll put a link to it at the end of this one. So. Yes. Stay tuned. Sweet! Nice. Alright, I'm just gonna keep cutting along these boxes and Ava will fit them in. And then I'm just going to use the hot glue gun to, to pull it back on. Let's see if this works. It's stuck again. Okay. It's the size of one gobstopper, so when two try and come through, it doesn't work. Yeah. Let's see if it works. Attempt two. Three. This is your third attempt. What? <laughs> We have these sticky magnets that'll go on the back of the candy boxes, just like this. onto a magnet, so it's like a direction changer. And then if I want the nerds to go down this tube, I just turn it, just like that. I made the first part of the gobstopper track and the tube that the gobstoppers will fall down. There, like that. And then that will go there. So when you open the gobstoppers, they'll go along the track and then fall into the tube. And then after that, I'm gonna make another ramp coming off of this bottom part over here. So I finished the rest of my tube maze. I added a spout so that when you put your hand under, it's easier for the candy to get in your hand. 
All right, so here's the second ramp. It has magnets on the back to attach it to the wall. And I put all of these ones together so that it can run down any one that it falls on. It's in here like that. And lastly, the ramp. I bent it back like this so it's easy to catch when the candy falls. It's time for trial one of the candy dispenser. Ava, you go first. All right. Which one should we do first? Uh, let's do the nerds. And Corbin, put your hands at the bottom so you can catch it. All right. Ready? Yay! Mistaken. No. Mistaken like steak. In. <laughs>